Hey everyone, on this episode of Layovers with Captain Maddie Mo, we are headed to San Antonio, Texas. On this episode of Layovers, we are taking off from Phoenix, Arizona and headed to San Antonio, Texas. So buckle up, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. All right, everybody, it was a great night of flying. The chocks are in. We're gonna head downtown, get some rest tonight, and then hopefully show you a little bit about downtown tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. We are in San Antonio. We got in late last night around 1230. That was our scheduled flight time on the uh, PM schedule. It was pretty dark, but now it is daylight. Looks like a nice day here. Here's the view. We're staying right downtown by the uh, river walk. So the first thing we got to do is go downstairs. I'm going to grab some coffee and then come up with my game plan for uh, walking around uh, downtown. We're right by the river walk, so there's some cool sights to see. So let's uh, get this day started. So I got my coffee and we are staying at a hotel that I've never stayed at before. We sometimes switch hotels just depending on the contracts that the hotels have with our airline. And it's pretty exciting. It's a real big property. We're gonna show you a little bit about it today. We're right on the river walk and that is one of the like main attractions in downtown San Antonio. If you're unfamiliar with the Riverwalk, let's head outside and check it out. And we are right on the Riverwalk. We are deep in the heart of Texas, standing on the Riverwalk. So anyway, here's our game plan for this episode of Layovers. I don't have a whole lot of time downtown here, but we got to get out and explore this beautiful city. So our first stop is a historical landmark in the heart of San Antonio. And I'm gonna wait till I get there to tell you what it is, but some of you can probably guess. And then we're gonna walk this amazing river walk that serpentines to the entire downtown. And then thirdly, we're gonna find some Mexican food for lunch. There's great Tex-Mex and great dining options downtown here. So the river walk snakes all through downtown San Antonio. There's actually, I think, up to 15 miles of urban pathways along the river here. And as you can see, all along the river, there's uh, shops, restaurants, there's businesses, even some of the hotels, like the hotel we're staying in, comes right out onto the river walk. And also, as you are walking along the river walk, someone's waving at me, uh, you can actually get on boats and cruise through the river. And it's actually like a tour along the river. And it kind of reminds me of the canals of Venice. But anyway. All right, we're headed to our first stop and I've got to go back up onto the street. So we're gonna head back up. Also all along the upper street, uh, there are all these steps that go down to the river. The river is kind of right below, uh, right below street level, but there's access points, entry and exit points all along the uh, river walk. When you venture back up above the street, there are more shops, restaurants, and even tour buses that'll take you sightseeing all around downtown. We are coming up on our first stop. Can you guess what it is? There was a famous battle here. All right, right behind me is the Alamo, the most historic landmark in downtown San Antonio. And when you are here, you gotta come check it out. First, it's free. You just have to sign up online for a slot time and then you can tour the Alamo and its grounds. All right, we're heading inside the Alamo right now. However, I cannot take any pictures or videos inside the actual church. So now inside that building, I wasn't allowed to take pictures or videos because it's sacred in respect to all the uh, hundreds of soldiers that have died here. But I am going to give you a little tour of around the rest of the grounds and some of the artifacts and monuments around the Alamo. So let's go. The small church or chapel we were just in is usually what people recognize when they see a picture of the Alamo. The Alamo was originally a Spanish mission and then turned into a fortress in later years. It actually spreads out over a couple acres of land. All of this sits right in the center of downtown San Antonio. In 1836, the storied Battle of the Alamo took place here. 
It was a pivotal event during the Texas Revolution. There was a 13-day siege where the Mexican army overran and killed most of the remaining Texas army that were holding up at the Alamo and protecting it. After this defeat, the Texas army vowed for revenge and in a later battle defeated the Mexican army and triggered the independence of Texas. Davy Crockett, who you see here, helped defend the Alamo and was killed during the battle. These six flags represent the governments that at some point in time controlled all or part of Texas before its independence and is where the term Six Flags Over Texas comes from. Two other notable men during the battle that you may recognize are James Bowie and William Travis, along with over 200 other men fought and died here within the Alamo grounds. We are coming up to the Long Barracks, which housed a lot of the men that were fighting here. During the battle, a lot of close quarters fighting took place within these barracks. Hope you enjoyed this quick history and overview of the Alamo. It's a great place to stop when you're in downtown San Antonio. And always, remember the Alamo. All right, that's it on the Alamo. It's definitely a must-see while you're in San Antonio. It's right downtown in the heart of San Antonio. It only takes about an hour to go through. You can learn all about the story battle that took place here and the history of the Alamo. So it's getting kind of warm out. I'm gonna head back down to the river walk and look for some lunch. See if we can find some Mexican food. Let's go ask these folks if they know where there's some good Mexican food. Do you know where I can find some good Tex-Mex down here? No? All right, well, thanks for your time. All right, this is the uh, River, si River Center Shops Market. All right. So behind me is the River Center Mall, and I just walked out of there, and you can see almost everything le leads back down to the river. Um, and you can just continue to walk, and there's a ton of shops, restaurants, entertainment, bars, everything here along the river. There's so many great places to eat on the river walk. I'm gonna try and see if I can get into one of the more famous places called Casa Rio. Unfortunately, everybody else wanted to eat here too. All right, that's a bummer. So I don't have enough time to wait for Casa Rio for lunch. It was like a 45 minute wait because we're at the peak of the lunch period right now. But as you can see, we're gonna head down the river some more and see if we can find another spot to eat. After trying a couple other places, I finally found a place with no line and that could seat me right away. The food came pretty quickly. Maybe there was a reason this restaurant wasn't super busy, but I actually thought the food was pretty good. Alright, so we just finished up lunch on the river walk here. We had some Tex-Mex, it was pretty good. It's pretty busy down here uh, at lunchtime, but my first choice was too busy, so I just found another spot that was open and could seat me right away. And that's the good thing about being down here. There's so many different places and restaurants that if one's busy or you can't get into one, just keep walking and you'll find another. So heading back to the hotel now, I'm gonna try and give you a quick overview of the hotel, but then it's time to get ready uh, for my flights tonight, head back to the airport. Good news is I'm flying home tonight. And I'll Our hotel is a great property right on the river walk. That large tower behind the hotel is the Tower of the Americas. There's a revolving restaurant up top and an observatory with great views over the city. I didn't have time to check it out on this layover. I must admit, for a crew hotel, this was one of the better ones. It was in a great location and in all the amenities. And I was even surprised with this added bonus. So check this out. We're in the lobby and I just found out they have a top golf swing suite right in the hotel. It's actually a golf hitting bay where you can work on your swing and play around a golf virtually inside this bay. How cool is that? This has got to be one of my favorite hotels now. All right, this hotel has a pretty awesome rooftop pool. So let's go check it out. The gym was pretty full up. It was very spacious. They had a full weight rack, a ton of exercise bikes, treadmills, and even Pelotons. And the cardio room had a great view overlooking the rooftop lounging area and the city.
maybe next time I have more time to check out this awesome gym. That's right. I was so busy running around downtown and eating Mexican food that I didn't actually have time to work out on this layover. Huge foul, I know, because you gotta try and stay fit when you're on the road. This rooftop deck was pretty awesome, though, and was actually a perfect spot to launch the drone to try and get some city shots. that's about all the time we've got here in San Antonio. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Layovers. It's a good day because it is go home day. We've got three flights back to Phoenix and we'll be home tonight around midnight. We had to deal with some weather over Nashville, but our last two legs home through Vegas and into Phoenix were nice and clear. When we made it back to Phoenix, it was a great trip. Flew with a great first officer as always. It's about one in the morning. So it's kind of a long night. And the good news is, is I've got two weeks off. I got a little vacation built in. So I got to head home, unpack, repack, because the whole family's heading to California tomorrow. Thanks for watching this episode of American Travel Family Layovers. Don't forget to check out our other videos on YouTube and our website at americantravelfamily.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more American Travel Family adventures.